Um, I'm going to be talking a little bit about our open source monitoring stack at Staples. I'm sure some of you were wondering why is the Staples logo on the sponsors list? What do they have to do with um, open source? They're not the supply company. But we're actually the fourth largest online retailer worldwide. Uh, we operate in over 2,000 stores in 25 countries. And we love open source. Um, it's a new love, definitely. Sometimes it's love-hate, but we're really adopting it. And we're not just using it for our monitoring stack, but our e-commerce platform is running on the Netflix OSS. And our private cloud is running Kubernetes and OpenStack in some pockets. One of my team members actually sent me this diagram. And it was pretty awesome, because it kind of shows you how the monitoring landscape has evolved. But the sad part is that over 20 of these technologies we have running in our environment. And the worst part is our main monitoring tools aren't even on here. So we definitely have a lot of overlap and a kind of tools explosion issue. So that kind of led us to take another look at our stack and consolidate, one for cost, but also we wanted to build the functionality and really have that end-to-end -end tie in of our data. So our requirements were pretty simple, fast reads and writes. Uh, we needed to scale. We knew we wanted to get to a million writes a second, or a million metrics a second. Um, and because of that, we needed flexible granularity in our data and our data retention. Um, and most important was easy to operate. Since we're taking away a lot of tools that people have been using for years and really uh, have become attached to, the new tool needs to be easy to adopt and very easy for our end users to use. Our final stack um, came down to this. We always knew Grafana was going to be the UI, uh, very powerful visualizations, and just at the end of the day, it's the most common one out there. Um, and as we POC different backends, we finally uh, led with Cassandra as a data store and then Blue Flood running on top. Uh, Blue Flood is a project that Rackspace open sourced, and we really like the roll up functionality and the ability to keep different granularities of metrics long term. Also, since uh, Rackspace uses this as their metric service, we knew that it could scale and it wouldn't be an issue for Staples to implement it. The one thing that Blue Flood kind of uh, lacked was a powerful query functionality. Um, it has a query endpoint that definitely is useful, but not to what we needed. And that's when we came across MQE, which is a project that Square open sourced, uh, their metrics query engine. and it runs on top of Blue Flood and gives this really powerful query language. Uh, it's very SQL-like, too, so it's easy to use. And um, this lets us write our own functions or use functions that Square wrote and really provide like powerful transformations on the data that uh, we're storing. So collecting all this data, we started out with Telegraph. And then Raj introduced us to the Intel team and Snap. And the decision was really quick to uh, switch over. It was kind of a no-brainer. Telegraph is great, but Snap is just a lot more powerful. And there's little, like no overhead on the server. Um, and it was easy for us to write plugins. And the Intel team already had a pretty powerful library of plugins as well. The one problem this stack had was most of it is written in Go. And at that time, no one on the team actually knew how to write Go. Um, based on research, we knew that it was growing in the industry. It was a powerful language. And it's definitely something we want to invest in. But we kind of had to take the time to do that. So we started recruiting for Go engineers. And then we brought in Bill Kennedy, which if you're in the Go community, apparently he's like a big celebrity. Um, he came in and did a week-long session. and. After that, honestly, the team was up and running and writing their plugin. Uh, this is to kind of show you how simple a uh, Snap plugin is. Jacob from my team will be doing a session tomorrow to kind of dive deep into it. But this is one of our first plugins we wrote. It's a Netstat plugin. The reason why we wrote this is when we first deployed out our agents, our Blue Flood publisher was opening up a lot of TCP connections and not closing them. So we almost took our load balancer down. Um, a lot of people weren't happy about that. But it led us to building this plugin, because we saw we had no way to really collect this data usefully and trend it on a dashboard. So Jacob wrote this plugin. And within minutes, we could see it in a Grafana dashboard. So super easy, and he'll get into it tomorrow, kind of how to do this and how easy it is. Um, so why are we really here? Why are we sharing our story? Uh, Staples is going through a 
fun uh, journey with open source, and we really want to start attracting that talent. So we figured coming to these conferences, sharing our story, we can get people involved. Check out our GitHub page. Uh, we have the we worked with Rain Tank on the data source plugin, and we've uh, put that up on our page, so you can contribute to it and um, open any issues if you're using it. And then we've also written a ton of uh, Snap plugins for. Uh, we have one for Couchbase, um, one for Nginx, one for F5. We have There's a ton on our page, so just go check it out. Uh, maybe you want to request them. If the Intel team's busy, we can help uh, write the plugins. But check out our GitHub, contribute, and then if you're looking for maybe a new job, you want to get in the retail space, uh, please check out our career site or talk to me afterwards. We're our um, monitoring teams, a lot of fun. Our cloud teams, um, awesome engineers, and then our e-commerce team as well. So we're definitely hiring at Staples, and we would love to have new people on the team. So apply, I guess. Thank you.